Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a missing shared DLL error on your Windows computer. So a lot of times these DLL files are located in the Microsoft.net folder or subfolders. So when you're maybe going through updates, you might have some leftover registry keys. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle. First thing I would personally do, make sure you have a system restore save or backup on your computer. Always is highly advised. So go open up your start menu. You want to type create a system restore point. And I'm actually going to show you guys how to create a restore a backup of your registry as well because we're going to be going through CCleaner, which is a free utility for your computer. So I actually already have it installed on my computer here, but you can just go online through Google. It's a free application. Make sure you select the free version. There's always somebody that's going to try and download the trial version. I can only do so much for that. Um, you want to make sure you're downloading the free version. There's a few different columns at the time of this recording. Just select the free version. So you on the left side, you want to left click on the registry button. And now you want to left click on scan for issues. This might take a second, so just be patient. And you notice we're noticing a lot of Microsoft Net Framework keys in here. So again, that's where this issue likely will stem from. So we're going to select left clicking on fix selected issues. Now it will prompt you if you want to back up changes to the registry. Left click on yes. I'm going to just save it somewhere on my desktop here. You can name it whatever you want. I think the most simple thing is just to do the date. So 7 2818 backup. Again, really doesn't matter, just whatever day um, you want to set it as. So, in order to just do all of them automatically, just left click on fix all selected issues. So, just left click on that. Should say issue fixed, left click on close, and it should say no issues were found once you're done with that. Now, if you're having an issue and you had to go back to the backup, just double click on the backup here you'll receive a prompt asking if you want to allow us to have to make changes to your device. I'll click on yes. And it's to basically just rewrite the entries that were going to be put in. So let's say adding information can unintentionally change or cause components to stop working correctly. Or you should want to continue. Just left click on yes would restore it back to how it was before. However, if you guys don't have any issue, you're welcome to delete the backup as well. Yeah, so I uh, do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.